I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority is examining fissures beneath the Tsuruga nuclear power plant on the Sea of Japan coast. Officials want to determine whether the facility is vulnerable to earthquakes. NRA official Kunihiko Shimazaki and four scientists are visiting the nuclear facility over the weekend. They have so far confirmed that an active fault runs beneath the Tsuruga nuclear compound about 250 meters from the number one and two reactors. What the fuck? They have so far confirmed that an active fault runs beneath the Tsuruga nuclear compound about 250 meters from the number one and two reactors. What the fuck? You the fault is believed to have last moved around 4,000 years ago. Officials are studying the relationship between the active fault and a fissure directly under the number two reactor. My impression is that the fault under the plant is very active. It is unusual for a nuclear plant to have such a fault running directly underneath it. National guidelines prohibit the operation of a nuclear facility located near an active fault line. If it is determined that the fissure under the reactor could move with the active fault, the nuclear plant will, be not, uh, will not be allowed to restart. It would then have to be decommissioned. The Japanese government toughened safety standards following last year's accident at Fukushima Daiichi. All of Japan's operating commercial reactors went offline for safety inspections after the March 2011 disaster. Then, last July, the Prime Minister approved the restart of two reactors at the Oi plant in Fukui Prefecture. However, the possible presence of an active fault beneath the Oi plant has raised safety concerns about operating the two reactors. They'll be calling you a radical. We have massive, massive breaking news out of Fukushima, which I think is the most devastating, biggest news since the day it happened. As reported by the examiner, which I give incredible credibility to, Fukushima themselves, TEPCO themselves, in their releases today, admit, admit, a massive dump of plutonium into the Pacific. And you're going to sit there and say, oh, so what? Oh, really? So what? Let me tell you something. I have three very serious whistleblowers who have been to me. I have plenty of these activists that have been on this from day one. I'm like, Kevin, you have these studies. Release them, release them, release them. I said, I don't have actual copies of the study. I have two whistleblowers from two major universities in the United States who have sent me their preliminary data months ago. And I said, this, what their preliminary data shows is such catastrophic news, I cannot report it. I do not want to be a yellow journalist. But on the other hand, I cannot be, as I've turned, black and yellow journalist. Black and yellow, the refusal to report. This report today says this, not the leaching into the Pacific. No, no, no. An intentional massive plutonium dump. A massive plutonium dump as they were lying. They're admitting now that they lied about the contamination into Japan. They're admitting that now. The UN themselves is begging them. There's a petition circulated by the UN to evacuate 300,000 children alone. We know factually, the data is out there factually, that 80% of the entire contamination of Fukushima, 20% was on the mainland in the area, 80% was pushed into the Pacific Ocean. We know this factually. Okay, do the math on what they've reported today. Why is this so big? I'll tell you why it's so big. Because this isn't season 137 or 130, which is catastrophic, which we know has been detected, I think. The two studies that I have, the whistleblowers coming to me. As I've read this by several activists, Jan, Miss Milky the Clown, who I give incredible credibility to, 
as her and I have been on this from day one, as I gave these first reports for a reason. That first report, day one that morning, the first report I started going crazy about, they're dumping plutonium in the Pacific. They're dumping plutonium in the Pacific. Went crazy. This was before I got leukemia. This is our worst fears conform. As the propaganda machine has been in full flight of the UN and the IEA, the criminal scum. Let's get real. And if you want to talk about credibility with my stories, go through every one of them. I'm all about credibility. That's what you're up against. It's where the wind blows. It's where the water flows. And this is our worst fears confirmed. Everybody says, oh, this is nothing new. Oh, really? Oh, really? Nothing new. We know it's been leaching in the Pacific. And we know that we've dealt with the media cover-up. And now we're dealing with the science academia world cover-up 2.0. This is our worst fears. TEPCO admits today. Admits. They did a massive plutonium dump. I have two whistleblowers from California, excuse me, one from a California course, one from a Oregon University. I'm not going to say which ones. Who about whistleblowers? Their preliminary studies have been in. And their preliminary studies say this. They haven't sent me the exact study, but these guys that I, I've dug in, I've had people help me check them out. I think they're very credible. Can I prove they're credible? No. As we know how people operate on YouTube, and I've been very weary of a lot of these reports, but as far as I go, dig through my videos. Dig through them all. If I haven't earned credibility by now, because I got this to say to the academia world who's holding back these studies. These studies say there are traces of plutonium in the Hawaii region. This has been out for months. There are, we know the jet, the, the ocean currents, we know that science really has never quantified those as the tuna. We don't know exactly how they migrate, believe it or not. Fugo, Fugos. Their studies say, both these studies, and they're independent, and I have, they're mutually exclusive as far as the people. Of course, we know they're the same study. You know, both say they're detecting small traces of plutonium in the preliminary results and 90. Why is this so massively important? It is our worst fears. If we start to detect any, any sign of plutonium, which we know after this report factually, it's on. The half-life in moxie fuel is this, we know this is moxie. We know factually that the half-life is hundreds of thousands of years. It kills you. It coats the liner of your bone. This is our worst fears confirmed. And I can tell you right here, right now, factually, without blinking, the incident of leukemia and people who never got leukemia is skyrocketing. Japanese researchers have succeeded in producing induced pluripotent stem cells from people with a pro propensity to develop leukemia. They hope the cells will help clarify how leukemia can develop and allow the creation of new treatments. A research team at Keio University created iPS cells from white blood cells taken from people with genetic traits susceptible to acute myeloid leukemia. Compared with stem cells developed from healthy people, the leukemia-prone iPS cells have less than half the ability to form blood cells. The team suspects a defect may occur in the process of cell division. The researchers say about half of the patients with such genetic traits eventually develop leukemia. However, the precise mechanism involved is not known. There are many patients who don't respond to any form of treatment. So using these cells, we hope to create new curative medicine for them. The researchers say they want to use the newly developed cells to determine the mechanism for leukemia. One of Japan's largest agricultural fairs is underway here in Tokyo. The event aims to showcase Japan's food and state-of-the-art agricultural technologies. Eighty companies and producers are taking part in the show. A round compact plant factory that can be used to grow vegetables on a large ship is being exhibited as part of the latest agricultural technologies. Also on display is a machine that paints colorful patterns on rice crackers using edible ink as well as a machine that can print the best before date on the round surface of an egg. We want people to learn about Japanese cuisine, agriculture and production technologies.
how backwards are you? Honestly, how backwards? How misguided? How dogmatic? How postured? How grown? As ignorance is a disease, it is an evil disease that has passed over. As I've termed this young generation the post-ignorant generation, the post-ignorance generation, post-ignorance. Look what we're going to hand them. Because these dogmatic baby boomers and active boomers are so stupid, so postured, groomed, so ignorant, they can't, you can't even have a conversation with these morons. They'll, they'll have their child with autism, they'll have asthma, they'll die of cancer and take it to their grave with their dogmatic posture. And these are our worst fears confirmed. This report, and isn't it ironic, none of the media reported this. None of them the media. There are no investigative reporters. It's a bunch of freelance. It's, it's ironic. Jan, Miss Smokey the Clown, you know, Christine, all these different people. I'm not a scientist. I'm surely not a reporter. I guess I am now. The science world won't do anything for us. These academia fucks. They sit on their fucking asses in their fucking glass fucking houses and suck up their fucking money and do nothing. The media. Fuck, they read off the same fucking telephone and they fucking do nothing. I take it back, they black and yellow journalism, which I can tell you right now, the future genera generations will mitigate. You're going to get the fuck see out of you so fucking hard. CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, Reuters, every one of you, and your fucking universities are holding that, you're going to get the fuck see out of you. Fuck you, creepy motherfuckers. I'm fighting for my fucking life. You fuckers are accessory to fucking mass fucking murder. This is our worst fucking firm. Fears confirmed. Our worst fears confirmed. This is new. This is breaking. They admit a massive plutonium fucking dump. 